Spot Kansas City on track to surpass one of the most deadliest years in over a decade. And we're already up 40% compared to last year. Take a look. These are the homicides in 2016, a total of 130 of them. And this year, we're already at 66. 41 Action News investigator Andy Alcock joins us to explain a new initiative to address violent crime in our area. Andy. Kristen, my KCPD plans to use non-traditional resources to patrol high violent crime areas. Specifically, the plan is to use officers from traffic enforcement, special operations, and the Violent Crimes Enforcement Division to try to stop the violence before it happens. The numbers are staggering and getting worse. So far this year, there have been 66 homicides in Kansas City. There were 47 at the same time last year on the way to 130, the highest total in a decade. The current number is a 40% spike from the same time last year. The question is why? I think that that's a challenge that law enforcement nationwide is trying to figure out. To address this troubling trend, KCPD's Law Enforcement Resource Center has been not only looking at the numbers, but also where the violent crimes are occurring. The plan is to shift resources from traffic, special ops, and violent crime to put officers on the street in hotspot areas for prevention. We're looking targeting people and not just people, individual specific, individually targeted people who are, are known to be bad or known to commit crime or have committed crime in the past. This new initiative comes as the number of KCPD officers on the street has been dwindling. As 41 Action News first reported in March, last year the department finished with 1,313 officers the lowest total in a decade. Currently, KCPD has 1,299 officers. 41 Action News also obtained records showing the number of man hours worked at KCPD has been trending down since 2014, while the average response times, even for the most violent crimes, has been going up. Results of a long-anticipated KCPD staffing study, originally expected in late May, are still pending. We're waiting for that report so we can examine not only how we deploy our current resources, but what resources we should have in the future. As for the current new initiative, we're told manpower deployment may change as frequently as every two to three days. The idea is for KCPD leaders to figure out where they expect the violence might be occurring next. Live in the newsroom, I'm investigator Andy Alcock, 41 Action News.